Hello, fellow enthusiasts. Today, we're diving into the mysterious realm of Latin American folklore. Brace yourselves as we uncover the chilling legend of the infamous Chupacabra, the blood-sucking creature that haunts the imaginations of many. Are mythic creatures simply artifacts of the past? Absolutely not. Presently, narratives of mythical beings persist worldwide, with tales circulating about entities such as Scotland's Loch Ness Monster or the Himalayan Yeti. The ominous chupacabra remains a contemporary myth thriving in the Americas. As these mythical beings find new footholds, they often undergo transformations to align with their novel audiences. In certain locales, the chupacabra is portrayed as an enigmatic predator lurking in the woods, while in others, it assumes the role of a sensational, at times tongue-in-cheek, media creation. Accounts of the chupacabra often describe its glowing red eyes and gleaming fangs, detailing how the creature hides in the forest, preying on goats and cattle, striking fear into local residents. The term chupacabra translates to goat sucker in Spanish, and reports suggest that the creature behaves akin to a vampire, lethally extracting animals' blood. Chupacabras are formidable, but generally not very large, often compared to an average-sized dog. Descriptions vary widely, with most attributing red eyes and large fangs to chupacabras. Some accounts depict the chupacabra walking on two legs, while others assert it moves on four. Depictions range from lizard-like skin to fur, and pronounced backbones, sometimes adorned with sharp spines, are common. A two-legged chupacabra is said to hop like a kangaroo. Chupacabras allegedly assault farm animals, draining their blood. Some witnesses claim to discover animal carcasses appearing as though cut open with precision. However, these occurrences may not be as unusual as they seem, as diseases, infections and insect activities can lead to such phenomena when animals perish. In various portrayals, chupacabras bear a resemblance to extraterrestrial beings. Some propose they are escaped pets of alien visitors, products of genetic experiments, oversized vampire bats, or elusive creatures that have evaded identification. Chupacabras serve as prominent symbols in numerous parts of the Americas. In 1996, a demonstration in Mexico City featured a man dressed as a chupacabra, burning paper houses to protest the Mexican government's housing policies. Artistic representations of mythical creatures can be found in art galleries, libraries, temples, and, more recently, toy stores, showcasing the enduring fascination with these fantastical beings. If you enjoyed this journey into the mysterious world of the Chupacabra, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to my channel for more intriguing content, and ring the notification bell to stay updated. Until next time, keep exploring the unknown.